Bertie the bus was giving some visitors a tour of the island of So. It was their last afternoon, and Ed Bill was preparing to take them to meet Ben. He found it hard to start the heavy train. Did you see him? Asked Henry. Positively painful, remarked Jane. Jane. Just pathetic, grunted Gord. Gord. He should give up and be preserved before it's too late. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! You're all jealous. Edward's better than any of you. You're right, fuck, said Ho. Ho. Edward's old, but he'll surprise us all. I've done it. Off. I've done it. Off, said Edward, as he finally puffed out of the. Ben and Ben were delighted to see the visitors. They loved being f***ed. <laughs> later, they took the party to China. Many months later. Ben and Edward took the visitors home. The way the weather on the change. Wind and rain. Edward. His sanding gear failed, and his fireman rode in front, dropping on the rails by hand. Suddenly, Edward's wheel fiercely with fear and a shrieking crack. Something broke. The crew inspected the damage. Repairs took some time. One of your pins broke, Edward, said his driver. We've taken your side rods off. Now you're like an old iron engine. Can you get these people to the McDonald's? I'll sir, promised Edward. Edward puffed and pulled his hardest and moved cautiously forward. The first coach moving helped to start the second, and the second helped the third. But his wheels kept slipping, and he could not the heavy train. The passengers were anxious. The driver, fireman, and conductor went along the train in the coaches. Come on, he puffed and moved cautiously forward. The first coach moving helped to start the second, and the second helped the third.